Yeah, you will never guess where we are right now. This is actually a huge bakery and right behind us is the biggest fridge we could find. In the emails, on our Facebook page and on our blog, you often ask us, okay, HBTM is fantastic, it's working great, but what's gonna happen during the winter? What when the temperature drops? So, well, we've decided to do a little experiment and you know, it's, it is quite important actually to find out what's gonna happen in the winter because as you know, when a person comes from the outside, obviously their temperature, their body temperature is gonna be lower on the forehead, right? Because you know, it's quite cold. Now, we need to do things our way. So we needed to prove to you that the Dahua HBTM, human body temperature measurement system, can still perform even when somebody comes from the outside. Yeah. Because the question is, how long do I have to wait until my temperature goes back to normal? So we are here today to answer that question for you. We took a lot of vitamin C. Hopefully, hopefully we did. We are ready. Well, I did. I don't know about you. <laughs> we are prepared. We are wearing about five layers. So let's see what happens. We are wearing like this. Well, I'm speaking about myself. Mateusz over here is going to try what happens if he's not listening to his mother and he's not wearing an app. So let's see what happens. We're going to go to that huge fridge. Actually, not even fridge, it's a deep freezer. And let's see if we survive. All right, let's go. Na razie! Jezu, nasza ekipa filmowa <laughs> też poświęceniem. Panowa, <laughs> cygno. For science! This is for science! <laughs> this is for science! Zamarza ci broda w ogóle. Marzę. No! No! Fifteen minutes later. Minęło 15 minut, czyli, czyli naprawdę dość niż trzeba. Ja jestem kurde Mateusz bez. Mi jest okej, okay, ale zimno. Mateuszowi jest trochę. Gorzej, czujesz tak, e, w ustach, możemy wyjść, czyli, czyli wychodzimy. Uważaj, 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 uważaj. Musisz zwiścić drzwiach. Daj ma to szybko. Oh, ale tu ciepło! Ale przyjemnie, Wydawało się tak zimno. Oh. Oh, yes, Here we go. Now to be able to show you that the camera's algorithm picks the right spot for the temperature measurement every time, to be versatile regardless of the situation. I took off my hat and Mateusz did not wear any, just as it could be in any typical installation. But what has really shocked us was the fact that in less than 20 seconds, both of our temperature readings were already just 0.4 degree below the initial temperature before going to the freezer. We are so pleased that Dahua HBTM performed that well in our difficult experiment. 0.4 degrees in 20 seconds? <laughs> we think we are in the safe zone and we are, indeed, ready for winter. Now keep in mind that this is really an extreme scenario and you should always follow the guidelines by, for example, the ISO or FDA regarding how long the person should wait before being screened and regarding the ambient temperature or other conditions. We wanted to try something really extreme and we were extremely pleased with the results. And of course, we double checked that the readings were correct using an IR medical thermometer and a thermometer that you can stick under your armpit or in your anus. We chose the armpit. But what about our competitors? Well, there are many solutions out there that just give you a false sense of security. We happen to have on hand 
one of those products. And just as we expected, well, first of all, we were invisible to that camera for quite a while. You can see here that because that camera is focusing solely on the forehead and our foreheads or hats for that matter are cold, the camera is lost. When it sees a bit of a forehead skin or when I take off my hat, it tries, but the result is inaccurate. For my partner in crime, it took two minutes to produce results that were way off the actual temperature. Which brings us to the second issue. The second issue that many of those products have is the fact that they measure the temperature only on the forehead, which is against not just ISO regulations, but also against biology. The offset temperature between Dahua camera and the competitor's camera here is 1.1 degree. And Dahua camera was right. It's not a big deal if their camera shows 35.1 and reality is 36.2. But what if their camera shows 36.6 but the person's temperature is 37.7? So why Dahua's algorithms are so much better? Well, of course, there is science behind all this. The inner eye corner, called medical canthus, is according to scientists, the most accurate point used for temperature screening using thermography. Some studies show that the temperature difference between the canthus and other face areas could be even as high as 3 degrees centigrade. In this experiment, using an ice-cold, wet towel, we cool the face, simulating cold weather's impact on the temperature of various face areas. At first glance, you can see the eye corner areas maintain a higher temperature, hence the yellow color, and the other parts of the face remaining much colder, represented by the color purple. When we speed things up, you can observe how much slower the forehead area heats up to the initial state, compared to the eye area. This again proves our point. The choice is quite simple here, Dahua solutions that are supported by science or products that give you a false sense of security. Thousands of people chose Dahua and you should as well. For more information regarding the thermal body temperature monitoring solution, please contact your local Dahua representative. Winter is coming.